It's four o'clock in the afternoon and we've come out for once without the dogs. Yeah. Um, we've come to see the murmuration. We've done a little bit of research and it would seem that they fly over their roosting ground every night, more or less, and they come in from surrounding areas, all arrive. Um, we've seen them a few times, but it's not been good for filming, has it? No, it's been bloody freezing. And, <laughs> uh, but today it's nice and mild, isn't it? It must be seven or eight degrees today, yeah. centigrade. Got the camera behind all set up, ready. And uh, this will be the fourth time I've been to see them. It's just an amazing, amazing phenomenon, isn't it? It is, just, just the patterns and the sheer numbers of birds. And I don't know, I don't know how far they come, but this, it, it just seems they have a roosting area and they just swarm and swarm and swarm around until they decide where they're going to roost and just funnel down. It's amazing. Um, last time we came, we had problems setting up the camera and the tripod we were frozen our hands wouldn't work would they the dogs were crying and pulling <laughs> so such tonight, a distraction with Archie barking and running around your feet so uh, we're about half an hour 20 minutes early probably and in fact last time we almost gave up because we got here got ready and couldn't see a single starling then you just see one and then a few more would come in then suddenly they all came in didn't they amazing. from all yeah, around yeah. it's just amazing so we're just keeping our fingers crossed there's no reason why they won't be here tonight um yeah we'd love to show you it in all its glory if we can anyway talking of birds this weekend in the uk is the RSPB's bird watch Big weekend. Garden bird watch it's called isn't it? I yeah think. so go on the RSPB website and uh, get all the information there on how you to count yeah. the birds in your garden and it's uh, all for a good cause so we can monitor which species of birds need help and which you know which necessarily don't and uh, we'll be doing it from the boat, won't we, yeah. on, on Sunday, You probably. only have to do it for one hour. You've got all over the weekend, so you just choose a time that suits you. But all the instructions are online. So, um, yeah, we'll definitely be doing it from the boat and see what we can see there. So this is just a little special video we've put up in between videos. And uh, hope you enjoy our walk that's coming up. It's a bit bedraggled but this is a uh, wild garlic and it's the first time we've seen it this year or well, last week and um, loads of it growing so look out for the recipes to come
Okay. How did you not go down there? <laughs> <laughs> All the grace of a rhino. You were at 190 degrees. <laughs> Pirouetted. <laughs> That's so funny. I think these are jelly ear mushrooms, I'm not absolutely sure. If they are, they're edible, but I'm not sure enough to know. But they do look like little rubbery ears. <laughs> not the sort of jelly ears you'd want, is it? You'd like jelly bean, jelly bean ears, yeah. wouldn't you? <laughs> What a lovely walk it's been again. Um, snow overnight and we've come out not knowing if it's going to snow or rain on us. But what a fantastic place, all these parks all joining up together are. Anybody that lives here, you're so lucky. There's woodland, there's water. The hills of the woodland is full of tiny bluebells just coming up. Um, and daffodils beginning to come up. I don't know what else is going to be growing. It's just gorgeous and we'll probably be moving on in the next two or three weeks I guess but I would almost like to stay here till May and see it, it's supposed to be stunning when the bluebell woods are all in flower but it's been lovely, lovely walk, we're cold but it's fine and uh, enjoyed ourselves and the dogs are absolutely whacked we're expecting no noise this afternoon from them do you think? <laughs> I'm hopeful, yeah Thank you. 